In this episode, I'm going to show you how to set up multiple viewports so you can see infrared and true color images at the same time. I'm going to confirm that I have four band imagery in my image information. I am going to then go up to View, Viewports, Two Vertical. And now I have two views. Okay. In this one, it's going to be my true color. In the right hand side, it's going to be my infrared. Okay. I'm going to set my models up in groups. I'm going to add a group. I'm going to select all my images. I'm going to transfer them over to the models in the group list. And I'm going to call this true color. And go OK. Now I'm going to select this viewport. I'll do exactly the same thing. I'm going to call this one IR. Select all the models in the group. Transfer them over to the models in group dialog box and go OK. Now for the true color, I'm going to take it and I'm going to grab it and put it in my true color window. And you can see that it says true color up in the top corner now. I'm going to do the same thing with my IR. So now when I pan around, I should see both windows panning. And as I change uh, models, automatic model switching will work with both. But I still have two true color images here. So I'm going to go up to my channel mapper. In configuration one, I'm going to make it channel three in the red band, one in the green band, two in the blue band. I'm going to apply it to all. Close that window. Now in my infrared viewport, I'm going to come up here. See that red, green, and blue icon? I'm going to say use channel mapper number one. My infrared comes up. In my true color one, I'm going to tell it to use no mapping. And there I've set it up. So now I can see true color in one band, infrared in the other band, and both windows do automatic model switching.